Fun fact, 50 years ago today, the first person ever landed on the moon. So today also happens to be the day that Vessi Fauxwear launched their first shoe. So as a result, they've put together a limited edition of the shoe to celebrate both things. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Vessi Galaxy Black. So if you're familiar with Vessi, they're a waterproof uh, sneaker company. Um, if you're interested, I have another video that goes through the form and function of the original uh, Vessi product line. And that's pretty interesting if you're looking for like usability and whatnot. But today, we're gonna to be unboxing this one. At the end of the video, I'm also gonna do a big Q&A because on my last video, I had so many questions from people like you um, just asking about the product. So stay tuned, because like that would be really helpful if you're deciding to, deciding to invest in a pair of Vessies. But today, we're gonna to get into this. So my name is Harmony, and I am a designer, and as a result, I make YouTube videos and review products. So the box they chose, the design I really like, uh, what they ended up going with. This is a nice style choice. The fun Vessi colored blue is beautiful. And here are the actual shoes themselves. So, <clears throat> what I love about this product is I tend to buy all my shoes in black just for, I don't know, utility purpose because they don't stain, they, they last longer, they appear fresher longer. But with the Galaxy Black, you actually have a little bit of interest in the pattern because rather than just an all black shoe, you have like these cool little pink speckles here that kind of signify the galaxy. And same with almost the salt and pepper type pattern. Um, I previously had a pair of Vessi shoes, um, of Vessi Cityscapes, and they're the all black. And I've loved these. I have worn the shit out of this shoe. Um, but I've always thought if I were to buy another pair, I'd want to get all black, but all black's kind of boring. So this is kind of actually a really nice uh, midway point between being a little bit interesting, but also all black. So my original Vessies that I bought, um, I wore a ton because I live in Vancouver where it rains all the time. This was my go-to shoe every day of winter and they were incredibly flexible, durable, um, and obviously entirely waterproof. Now, as for, <laughs> I'm like trying to juggle all these fucking shoes. As for the changes that I've noticed between V1 and this new limited edition uh, Galaxy style, is that they've changed the lace. Okay, so this lace, love the shoe, but hated the laces because they came untied all the time. Like every day that I wore them, they would like loosen up unless I double knotted. So I can see from the new pair that They've, they've actually changed the um, lace material. It feels a lot more tieable. Is that a scale of, weight, of like how to rate something, like more tieable? I don't know. Can also confirm that after tying them up for the first time, the laces are a ton easier than the original style. Um, I, just night and day, great improvement, Bessie, thank you. Also on the bottom, as you can see, the heel and the toe, uh, where kind of you have the most wear and tear on your shoes, rather than having the lightweight foam, they've replaced it with a rubber piece. So this is good and makes the shoes last longer, but the foam allows them to be really lightweight and flexible. Um, the shoe's also pretty breathable. Yeah, the shoes are also pretty breathable. I know that the everydays are more breathable on a scale of one to 10 than uh, the original Cityscape, but I don't mind because I like having kind of warm feet, um, especially in the winter. Now, another change that I've noticed between the old Cityscape and this new limited edition one is that they've added a lot more arch support. So that was kind of one of the only flaws that I found with the Vessi shoe is I walk a lot and you want your body to be supported, you want your you know back and spine to be in a good place. So I'm excited to try these out with the new arch support because I, I often find that kind of my feet are caving in because I have weak arches. So uh, that'll be nice to experiment with. Okay, so we're about halfway through the video and we're gonna we're about to jump into the Q&A portion of the video. You guys had a lot of questions about the shoe and about like the actual performance, uh, so I'm about to answer that. But if you're liking this so far, please like and subscribe because it helps my channel a lot and I do other reviews on products um, with an emphasis on design 
form and function. Oh, I should also note, feel free to ask me any questions below because I answer every single person in the comments and help other people who might have the same things in mind. So let me know below. Hey Bish, okay. So let's talk a bit about what you guys ask in the comments. Okay, so the first question that we have from Alyssa Uduman, Uduman Singh says, does your one foot that was soaked in the water dry fast? Like if the rain got into the shoe by the ankle, does it dry? This is a great question. Um, yes, it does. They were very quick drying. So whenever I did get a soaker because water got, up at the, got in at the top, um, I found that it usually took about, I don't know, 15 minutes to 15 to 20, 30 minutes tops to dry. So that was good. Uh, the next question from Sophia Lau Alves was, I was actually looking to get a pair of travel shoes and think these shoes would be perfect for that. Are they breathable? I'm just wondering if my feet would get sweaty in them like they would with rain boots. Was, um, okay, so this is a great question. So between, Vessi has two different, um, or three different styles, but two of them are the Cityscape and the Everyday. These ones are a bit more insulated, the Cityscapes, um, from my understanding, but the Everyday are said to be a, a, breathier, a more breathable design. Now, myself, I've always had these and I don't have a problem with them. I find them very breathable, but my boyfriend, who tends to run a little bit more hot, um, finds that if he wears them on a hot day, like he'll, he'll be a bit more heated. So I would say if you're going for breathability, go for the everyday rather than the city state. But with that said, like both options are good, um, especially for colder weather, I find that these are ideal. So next question from Jubilant. Did you find the material stiff and hard to put on? That's what I've heard some reviews say. So, okay, yeah, actually that's a good point that I totally forgot about, but at first, when I got my original city skates, they were kind of hard to slip on, uh, just cause this is a little bit tight at the top, but as you wear them, kind of this flexes up and then they're easier to just slip and slide on. But yeah, definitely at first, I had to kind of like force my foot in to stretch them out. And the reason is because they're, the aim is to have this part as close to your ankle as possible so that water can't seep in. Okay, so as for the Q and A, um, I just put these shoes on for the first time and I can confirm these are way easier to slip on than the original Cityscapes. Just wanted to throw that out there. And actually, now that I look at these two cuts side by side like this, I can see already that they've um, brought the lip of the shoe up a lot more in the new design, um, probably just for added waterproof um, functionality. So that's a nice improvement. Nice job, Bessie. <laughs> This was a really good question by Crimsonific. Um, are the shoes really easy to clean? Do stains and dirt wash off easily with the waterproof material? So the answer is yes. Um, what's really great about these is if they do get dirty, you can literally hose them off. And because of the material type, I'm not sure what this is. I'm pretty sure it's patented. Um, nothing really sticks to the fabric. Um, so that's great. And if they do get dirty, you just kind of like buff out the foam on the side and hose off, give this a little wipe, and they're good to go. So that's super simple. Okay, so the next question is, it's from Fals Alvin. It's nice video and great channel. Okay. Can you tell me if they're fit for running uh, 10K and 21K twice a week? I'm moving to Vancouver and waterproof shoes are on my items of must haves. This is a good question. I would say, I'm not sure. I feel like everybody's a little bit different when it comes to running and what kind of support they need. Um, I know that the other shoes for me probably wouldn't have been is as supportive to run in. But now with the new changes that they've made to this version of the Cityscape with the um, kind of added arch support, they might actually be a better option for running. Now that's if you don't need a ton of support or kind of cushion. I would guess if you're doing, um, I would guess if you're doing like endurance training or endurance running, I would say probably go for a shoe that's designed exactly for endurance running. But you know, if you do the occasional like 5K and it's like soaking out or 10K even and it's like raining, by all means, I think this would probably be a good option um, considering the amount of support you need. So I hope that answers your question. 
Um, now, some other questions that kind of came up were just like, how about snow? Like, are these are these shoes, like one of the questions that came up is like, are these shoes well suited for winter and snow and slush? Um, and so the answer to that is yes, because water can't get through the actual fabric on the top, you're, you're pretty safe from all of the above, snow, slush, rain, um, whatever form the H2O is in. So that's it, that pretty much does it for my review. Uh, if you wanted to check out the form and function and like style aspects of the shoe, I'd say check out my other review video because we do a deeper dive into that. This one's more about, you know, um, your questions at home and about the new style for the Galaxy Black. So yeah, overall, breathable, lightweight, um, flexible, and waterproof. So it's a perfect shoe for me in Vancouver and maybe it's a perfect shoe for you too. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe. 